What's going on guys? Today we're going to go over how to set up the quick task conf configuration page for GWAP. Um, so this is only going to apply to people obviously that have uh, GWAP monitors within their server. Um, first things first, you'll notice that the layout has changed for our alerts. Um, this is not public yet, but will be pushed out over the next few days once we're happy with everything. Um, but when it is pushed out, this is what you'll see. Um, the new alerts have some different sections in them. Um, as you can see, we now have Add to Cart, Bot 1, Bot 2 for each variant. Um, we've changed the title, so now it is the product title rather than Shopify restock, so all of your alerts will show which product is restocked. Um, and then down below here, you'll see we have an advanced section now, which is Full Size Run, and full size run 1 and 2, Mass Link Change 1 and 2, Run 1 and 2, and Setup. Um, Full size run and mass link change should be pretty self-explanatory. Run one and two are going to default to whatever settings you have saved within your bot. So TaskBot, for instance, um, you can select a default size, um, whether it be random or size 12, whatever. Um, if you hit run one, it will run for that default size. Um, first things first, we're going to hit the setup button. It'll bring us to atc.bz slash config. Um, so this is our fresh dashboard. Um, and as you can see, we have bot1 and bot2. So what we're going to do is select bot1 and pick whichever bot we want. Um, depends on what you would like to run. And then bot2, I'm going to go ahead and do taskbot just for demonstration purposes. So we'll click and save that. Um, and as you can see, if we refresh, that will stay there. So this configuration is saved within your browser session. Um, that is all cookie-based. So depending on what browser you're using, um, that will kind of apply. So if I come over to another browser um, that I'm logged into, you can see that we have Balco and Eve saved in that. So if you're running quick tasks on your phone or on your server, make sure that you hit this page and save your configuration so that when you actually run quick tasks from Discord or Slack, it will, it will actually work. Um, so let's come back to Discord here. Um, I will use, what's a good site to test? We can use normal. Um, so as you can see, we have bot one and two. So bot one is that selection I made here for cyber. So if I hit the bot one quick task, it'll run a cyber quick task. We'll come over here to the server and we'll stop that. Um, same goes for bot two. So in the config, I have task bot save for bot two. So if we come back to discord and hit bot two, this should open. Yep, there we go. So that will run a task for TaskBot. So this should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, I just kind of wanted to go over the buttons and how that's saved and also what this information is doing. Um, this is all user dependent, so every single user that uses the Guap monitors will have to do this. This isn't server dependent, so... Um, also, this is the page that we will be adding new bots. So if we decide that we want to start supporting A and B or NSB once they push um, external quick task support, then we'll do that. Um, and we'll be sure to update this page accordingly so that you guys can, can play around with those. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I'll try to respond to comments as quickly as possible. Um, you can also hit me up on Twitter or hit us up on the Guap Twitter um, and let us know what you think. Um, you guys should be seeing this in the next few days. Uh, we'll make an announcement on the Guap Twitter just to let you know that we have gone fully public with it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and let me know if you guys have any questions.